far as my physique is, how and how it looks and how it's progressing, I'm very, very excited about uh, reaching a new level of conditioning and uh, bringing my physique to a different level. I think I've made improvements in the, in the conditioning part for this show uh, in comparison to the other shows that I did this year. We really just uh, stuck to the diet, increased the cardio, and just grinded it out and really just lost as much body fat as possible. And uh, it's making everything a little bit easier for this prep when it comes to conditioning. Uh, this is the improvements that I make, you will see deeper separation in the legs, uh, better lines, more detail, uh, more separation and striations coming out. And that was the, pretty much the goal for this, uh, this show. Uh, and looking at next year, you'll see a bigger branding with the same kind of uh, conditioning and uh, separation and uh, detail. So that's something to look forward to for next year, but this year will give you a, a preview of what uh, physique is capable of uh, displaying. Strongest area, was, of course, is just uh, God-given genetics and structure and uh, shape, muscle bellies. I think I have, uh, I have an advantage over a lot of guys just have big muscle bellies on small joints uh, with, a, with a decent sized frame to sit it on. And uh, I just think that's one of my advantages, just how my physique flows and the balance and the symmetry. I think that's what I have over a lot of guys. When I put the other uh, weapons together, like uh, conditioning and uh, the mass, then I think it'll be a tough physique to to compete against. Competition, uh, I, you have to think about them because they're always going to be there. Uh, but I, I really don't I really don't focus on necessarily what they're doing or how they look because I know some guys are at their prime and at their peak and I have time to get there. So I just focus on getting better. Uh, getting better and getting better and hopefully uh, by the time I reach my peak, uh, those guys that were in their prime I won't be able to touch me. Well, I feel I have an advantage in this competition because I'm basically the youngest guy in the show. And uh, being the youngest guy in the show, you have uh, uh, more time on your hands and greater expectations for the future. So I think being young and one of the youngest bodybuilders in the show by at least a couple years. And uh, I think that just really just uh, kind of sets the stage for what will come in the future. As far as this weekend and, and, and the competition, as far as favorites and the top five, I believe uh, everybody pretty much knows Jay, Phil, Kai. I think Dennis Wolf will be thrown in the mix. Of course, we know Branch is out. And then you've got to look at uh, Ronnie Raquel, who's uh, been pretty competitive. He's somewhere in the mix. Um, Dexter Jackson, can't forget about him. And uh, the rest, I think that six through 10 spot play spot is up for grabs for anybody. And I'm just hoping just to display well. I, I don't know, I necessarily know. I have no expectations of my first Olympian, how I should place, because uh, I, I don't think too many people place well in their first Olympia period. But I'm just hoping for the best, and I'm just hoping to bring a new package to create some excitement on uh, the Olympia stage. The placing that I, I would consider a success, I really haven't evaluated necessarily. I think being in the only Olympia stage is a part of the mark of being successful. Uh, what you do with it from there is uh, will basically increase your value. And I think uh, the top 10 spots is, is where everybody wants to be initially when they first enter their first Olympia. They want to be considered in the top 10, the top 10 in the world, you know. I think that's uh, everybody's goal somewhere when they first enter, the, enter their first Olympia. So, I mean, top 10 is, it would be very, very nice and I'd be very satisfied and uh, motivated if I got anywhere in the top 10. Why do I feel I, I should be Mr. Olympia in the future? Well, basically because I believe in the sport, man, and I believe in everything that sport stands for. I know we get a bad rep, but I believe that I can be a good ambassador and uh, show, show a better better face to the sport, you know, itself. As, as far as having a great physique and uh, great balance and great structure, I bring a little bit of the old with a little bit of the new back to the stage and kind of mix it and blend it. And I think that'll work out quite nice. So, you know, I'm, I'm just, I think every Mr. Olympia has done something different to the game in his own way, especially the guys that considered the greats and that dominated the stage for an extended period of time. And uh, I think I'm going to do that. And if I'm um, to be successful, I want to do that in uh, some form of fashion, but I know it'll be different from the previous or my predecessors, so to speak. 
Uh, yesterday, I know you guys uh, saw a video of me uh, working out in the gym. As in the final stages of prep, things change. Uh, you have, I was going through a basically a carb depletion process. And a part of depleting, uh, you have, uh, carb depletion is you basically have to deplete the muscle of glycogen. So the workout is not necessarily intense, but uh, you really, really get a burn and you're really trying to burn all those carbs out of the muscle so you can create an effect, a balloon effect when you put the carbs back in because you create a sensitivity and a deficiency at the same time. At the same time, you saw me drinking water here and there because I really was trying to get about two and a half gallons yesterday. Really trying to overload the bottle with water just to keep the water going in and coming out. Of course, you know you need water to digest carbs and uh, the muscles comprise of mostly water. So once the carbs go in, the water goes in, you reach the fullness and you get a fuller effect. After that day, you like today, we cut the water down a little bit more and the water continues to go out and uh, it creates more tightness and more dryness effect. So it's just basically a little like last week process that us bodybuilders go through to give you that great illusion on stage that our muscles are just popping off the frame. So uh, that's, what, that's what you guys saw yesterday uh, when we trained in the gym uh, and just kind of just pumping everything out. I want to thank uh, I want to thank my wife first, of course, and uh, uh, I want to thank my my family, my my daughter, my son, right now, and uh, the grandparents for keeping up with them this weekend. It's always great, an extended family. I also want to thank BSN. Uh, you guys have uh, always been great to me, uh, making it easy, and even support me uh, along the way, making it more comfortable for me on this trip. Even though a lot of things are already taken care of, you guys go far far beyond. So I appreciate it. I also want to thank Muscle Mag for putting me on the cover. Uh, the, this is a Olympia edition or this Olympia month edition. Uh, it's a really a great opportunity to be on the cover. It creates a good buzz. I also like to thank, uh, I think, uh, mom, dad, <laughs> and everybody that's ever just supported me. All my fans and all my friends, you know, my, my boys that called me up and texted me and asked me what's going on. I really appreciate you guys following me and uh, being inter inter interested in what I do.